Hello and welcome to my demonstration for the plugin I made for the second assignment in Digital Audio Effects. Um, it's a variation of the Kapla Strong String Synthesis algorithm, which allows users to set the source material dynamically. In the original algorithm, it was a burst of noise that excited the string. Um, and here you can actually select your source material from uh, any audio sample. So upload the plugin here and you've got to load it to a MIDI track because the incoming sound is actually loaded into the plugin. So I'm going to load up the sound here. Uh, TR-808 bass sound, which we can listen to in the project as is. Um, this is the plugin user interface where you can define the extraction window position and size by dragging this around and changing the size here. And I'm gonna set it to the start now because the signal it has a higher amplitude here. Then we've got a delay feedback value which controls the attenuation value for samples passing through the delay line which is used to simulate the string decaying. So if this is low and I play a middle note, then it's more like a click. And if I increase it, the decay time gets longer and longer. The next thing I have done is add a attack decay sustain release mode, which allows you to control exactly those four parameters to envelope the sound or the volume of the sound. So now we have set this like this and I play a chord, it sounds like Then I have added additional controls, so dynamic velocity um, controls the output volume by the means of incoming MIDI velocity and this one is quite interesting. Um, Adaptive decay, if enabled, calculates a stretch factor which equalizes the decay time because in the standard model uh, lower strings decay uh, slower than high strings. So if this is disabled and I play a low note, there's a long decay time and if I play a high note, it's got a shorter decay time. So I mean I can alter this by changing the feedback value but if I enable this the notes will have the same decay time, um, which sounds like this. Um, if this is enabled, you can still change this, so this will be equally short or equally long. Where a value of 1 in this mode doesn't mean uh, infinite decay, but is hard limited, so the note actually decays. The next thing is due to the use of a delay line, which length we can change, um, I've defined a pitch range, which can be set to a value between 0 and 24, um, which allows you to control the pitch of the sound while you play it using the pitch wheel or the MIDI pitch wheel control um, in your digital audio workstation, which sounds like this. And finally, I've added a backward low pass filter, which can be used to trim some of the high frequency content. Um, and here is a plot of the current uh, magnitude response of the, of the filter. So if I change this here, this will update and sound accordingly. <laughs> And finally, a main output gain, which can be used to avoid clipping. Um, so to show how you can use this musically, I've prepared a chord progression, which uh, contains some automation on the source, uh, on the plugin parameters. So here we can see sample position, window length, attack time, filter queue and filter frequency are all automated. And I'm going to load this up here so we can see how the values change while we play it back. And that sounds like that.
that's it for my short demonstration. Thank you for watching.